Choosing a wine can be really intimidating, at least for me, because I've been yelled at for choosing a red wine with a fish in a restaurant. Anyway, Vincent invited us to go to the Bistro de Sommelier, where the guy who owns the restaurant is the world champion of sommelier. We're gonna go, we're gonna taste some wines, do some pairings, and let him show me how to sniff a glass of wine, how to play with a wine so that I know how to enjoy it. You wanna go get ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I want to try some wine. I'm hungry. Let's go get ready. Allez, on y va? On y va. Let's, Let's go. go. I don't know much of anything about wine except I like to drink it. So I'm gonna learn some new things today from somebody who is exceptional, like a world champion. And I just wanna taste it and see how everything goes together. I'm excited. So now we're gonna have an experience to go downstairs in the cave. Look every thousand and thousand of wonderful bottle of wines. <laughs> there is a very uh, historic link between the French and, and the state. Yes. And especially with Bordeaux and, and California. Bordeaux and California. And Burgundy and Oregon. And the old story, it's at the end of the 18th century when Thomas Jefferson was ambassador before to be a president. He loved France, he loved especially French wine from Bordeaux. The story, it's, uh, it's fantastic between yeah. French and American. Well, what, what do you think of uh, American wines? Do you think they have good wines in California or around? Sure, uh, they are very good wine in, Cali in California, but not only in California, because in, in state you have very good wine uh, in Oregon, and uh, Oregon. now very good wine also on the northern part of New York uh, State. In Finger Lakes, you have a very nice Riesling, uh, Gevers Treminer, Pinot Noir, also Chardonnay. Is it the vine that makes the wine good or is it how they mature the, the vine and the wine? Because I heard they brought the, the vines from France to plant in California. Sure, sure. Is that why the California wine is good? It is the same kind of variety of wine and the difference it is um, the soil, the quality of land, the climate and also the technique to produce uh, a good uh, vine before the good wine. In function of the evolution of the climate, okay. there is a big question now. So with climate change, we're worried about the future of wine? Mm -hmm. It's a good question. Have you to taste. So the best reason to go green is to keep the wine supply going well. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so what are we what are we uh, tasting here? This is a white wine from Bordeaux with a Sauvignon grapes. It's a blend of Sauvignon and Sémillon and a touch of Muscadel. And it's a very fresh, very crispy wine with a citrus expression, floral and a very good fruit. It's um, fantastic to have a, to have this kind of wine than in the aperitif to start. Nice to prepare the palate of the future pleasure. So when you test wine, the first thing it is to, to, to see the color. It's not easy in the cellar because yeah. the light is not perfect, but you have a white here and you can use it to, to, to see the color. It, it, yeah. You have a, an, a gold color with a green reflex, very clear, very limpid, and, and a sort of crystal sensation. And it's important because the, the, the aesthetic of the wine, it is um, very important and the color, it's kusikusa, it's in, you have a sort of milk sensation, something because it's it's not uh, a good thing to the quality of the wine. Okay. In, in this case, it's perfect, okay? After that, the nose is very important. You have the first nose here, the first nose, the premier nose, first nose. And after that, you can turn like this, the wine in, a, in the glass, and you can have a second nose. It smells different. Yes, because you have more sensation, you have, a, you have an evolution, of the, and, and you have a more expression of the wine because you have a, a little bit of oxygenation. Because I'm a little bit familiar? E exactly. Also. Okay. Also. And when you return, you have a sort of um, other like emotion and you, you come back and you discover other things. That's right? It's true. And just to stop. Just it's to true. Stop. It's, it's very different. different. Yeah. It's different. 
is better. And always, if you feel like this, you have a, a more and more sensation and different sensations. The fruity, the spicy, the concentration, the complexity, and um, it is it's normal because it, it's normal because the, the wine is in evolution, mm -hmm. the temperature, the friction, and the oxidation, but also you uh, analyze because you 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 have. Um, a souvenir, you have uh, yeah. memories and something like that. Uh, oh yes, yes, I think this uh, citrus, this uh, um, apple, this uh, touch of food, this, this um, spicy, um, and it, it's very, very exciting. It is exciting. just a time for the wine, but it is a time for, for you. It's a personal time to, have, to, to, to be in contact, in harmony with the wine. It's a real expression of the, of the um, savoir-faire right. and uh, the, the, the terroir and the, the, um, the type of grapes and uh, the vintage also. Yeah, in function of the vintage, the, the story is different. What I'm understanding is that the process of smelling and twirling the first nose, the second nose and everything, it's, um, I feel like I'm building a relationship with the wine. Absolutely. It's very personal. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, and now you have to taste it in your palate. Okay. Sure. And if you close your eyes like this, mm. it's 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 um, more and more um, um, emotion and personal sensation. And you it got exciting and spicy. Exactly, exactly. And you have a long after taste. You have a salty sensation. You have a texture and uh, and, uh, and good acidity, but not acidity for the acidity, just a, a freshness sensation, and um, and uh, the verity, the, um, the true, the true. Yeah. Um, it's um, always um, in, in in the glass, but always in your heart. And when you have a, a good wine, um, you have this kind of. Um, Sensation, emotion. You're yeah. gonna have some more emotion. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Mm. You you can drink um, only uh, like, like like this, but if you want to uh, to have um, a real um, expression of the wine, you have to, to wait. A little bit in the, the wine in your palate. You have to 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 croquet, crush. You know, yeah, crunch, crunch it. Yeah, exactly. And um, to wash it through your mouth. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, to like turn the, the wine also in your palate with a little bit of, a part of um, of uh, oxygen. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like this, you have a real um, sensation. You have a, a, a message of the wine. And, and of the winemaker in general. Oh, yeah, this is the are, private collection. Uh, uh, it's not private, it is a, a very special type of wine. Very, um, very expensive, many, many good wine, and many, very prestigious wine. Chateau Fleury. Chateau Fleury. There are over 10,000 bottles in this cellar from 35 different countries. And we just saw one that was 20,000 euros a bottle. It's intoxicating. I mean, I gotta do it again. My mouth is watering. Like when you really like start to think about it, what am I tasting? I mean, I'm just getting flowers and lemon. Flowers. That flowers is really what I'm I'm getting. So this wine was basically grew on on vines that was close to flowers for me. There's just no way there has to be a lot of flowers. And the place that I know it has a lot of flowers is the south of France. So that's why I'm thinking that's it. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. We don't know. One of the brilliant things about the way he set up the restaurant is that we have a white stripe on the table because the first thing he told me is to check the color of the wine. So I'm going to take the color of the wine against the white of the table. 
so I can see the yellow of it, the paleness of it, and the purity of it. That's good stuff. Here we are. <laughs> and the wine? It is from Loire Valley. Ah, tiens, the first one. Hey, I was right. Hey. Congratulations, my dear. <laughs> it is a Sauvignon Blanc from Loire and from Touraine, exactly. She watched her YouTube video. I you watched her YouTube and the squid glass. Bonsoir, merci bien. Bonsoir. Au revoir. It's funny how I've been paying attention to the flavors all night and just tasting this shrimp with my eyes closed had me experience the shrimp newly. Like just really noticing the textures and the subtleties of what's mixed with it. How it's seasoned, it's yummy. The shape of a glass can be as important as the wine itself. Whether the glass curves inwards or outwards directs the concentration of the wine's aroma. And because our sense of taste and smell are so closely tied together, the shape of the glass affects our experience of the wine. I knew this one was coming, I might have drank less of the last one. <laughs> Never go wrong with a Chateau Neuf du Pape. I love that one. Cheers. I was teaching everyone about the word pompette. He can say that. <laughs> Boy is drunk. Bo drunk. He's bouffé. No, 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 no. Yes, coach. Oh yes. Come oh, yes. Mark. I smell the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> I like to be pompous. <laughs> yes. So it's a really creamy cheese and it's salty and a little bit pungent and it's paired together with an apricot jam and the crispy crunchy uh, sourdough bread and it's a really great combination of flavors and it goes really nice with the champagne. It's a very interesting choice as a wine to go with a cheese. I don't know why. I, I, I wouldn't have thought of serving champagne with cheese, but apparently uh, the world champion sommelier think it's a good idea, so I'm just going to listen to his uh, feedback there. That's great. That's a great choice. From now on, I'm sorry, champagne with cheese. Cheers. But what I really have to get you to understand is there's like been a few things that happened before this one. <laughs> so this one is very fruity. It's a very sweet one, but it's still very smooth. Because I don't usually like sweet wine. But it's tasty. Home, is that what you say? <laughs> no taxi won't take me home. <laughs>